So we want to really invite everyone to just follow your path in a way that is natural. Follow the embrace of this new, the, this new moment and this new era and the consciousness to be embraced in a much, much more natural way. Um, may we speak more fluidly about plants. May we speak so much fluidly about sexual issues. May we speak more natural about everything that we need to talk about. We are not the elders of the past. We have to embrace what this new technology and these new traditions. But one thing that we always have to remember is gentle. Gentle has no creed. Gentle is just a way of living. If you are gentle from the moment you, you get up, you are gentle from the moment you go to bed, you approach relationships in a gentle way. I think that that is the key of approaching this new humanity. We are known, we are energy, and this is the moment to touch our energies. Let's touch each other's energies and let's come together in this harmonious, beautiful flower of life that it is also found in the Mayan calendar. So learning more about how you can become part of the master plan in your time and creating your time, it's important for all of you. If you let yourself be ruled by the Gregorian calendar, you're doomed. You're doomed not to evolve, but to go from Monday to Friday to embrace the same life. Maybe successful and wealthy, but that's not life. We have, as human beings, the plants is our natural birthright. It was given by us by the Mother Earth. Many societies before us, many cultures before us has embraces. And it was probably those that give them those states of consciousness, of higher consciousness, and being able to embrace that higher self. We feel that there's an oppression not allowing us to do this. But I think that if we all embrace the education, the gentleness, and to do it sacred, and to do it the right way, I think that this is a way uh, to stepping into evolutionary minds and hearts to understand that this is just a body. You are full consciousness, expanding every minute. And you are many, you are an eternal self. So this is the moment, I don't think that the, pla the planet has evolved. So I think that this is the moment to, to have this, physic this physical vessel for all of us to evolve the planet within. Uh, in the Mayan calendar, you can see that the Mayan calendar is, goes from inside out and from outside in. So by law of correspondence, it's a force that it goes in and out. As we collectively come into higher consciousness, so does the planet. And it goes in and out. So this is the moment to educate ourselves into pure awareness. What is the most wonderful thing anybody can have is pure awareness. Awareness to experience love. Awareness to experience sadness. Awareness to exper experience anything. Awareness is the key to be present. When you are in the past, you are not with them. <laughs> when you are in the future, you are not with them. When you are in the present, we are together. We are here. So thank you everyone for listening. We hope that we can really bring the teachings of finding the shaman within. It is within each one of us to find the certainty, to find the, the truth. Today on this day 11 serpent, we call upon the feather serpent to come upon each one of us to teach us what is truth what is truth is what is feels good to the heart and the mind so thank you very much Matyosh. Matyosh, and as we say Matyosh to Kukul Khan and in gratitude we remember that the eternal present is all we have this is an invitation to live in the eternal present but not just to live here to live in cosmic time Come join us. We have been doing this for 66,000 years together, generations through generations, and it's here for all of you to come and remember together. Time to remember. Matyosh. Thank you. That was good. That was good!